Welcome to my first ever devlog of my game, Project Kota, a resource management game about building your own city-state, focusing on building industries and transport networks to support and grow your city. The idea comes when I was playing Factorio and building the train logistic for my factory. I really love the train transport mechanics, but the core gameplay of being the actual engineer character and need to move around to build something starting to feel like a chore to me. Especially in endgame stage where you starting to build a giant mega base, you start to spend a lot more time traveling instead building, which is something that I don't like. So I thought to myself, why don't try to build my own game, build my own factory and it train mechanics, but the simple RTS top-down control instead just a singular character so you can just move your camera zoom in zoom out use the map to move around spend more time building something instead just moving around with your own slow character of course there are dozens of other games like that open ttd sweet transit the entire final franchise to name a few but at the time I was learning Rust programming language and Bevy, which is the game engine built on Rust. So this just feels like a perfect opportunity for me to learn Bevy by building this project. Other than that, I have planned to make some twists to make this game unique and be different compared to other games. So I'm not a complete beginner with Bevy. Before the idea comes up, I already try to learn Rust and also Bevy. Uh, I built a simple Slappy Bird clone to learn the basic of Bevy and feeling good enough to start building the product after the game and starting to build the game by doing the first mechanic which is the selecting and building some building. The mechanics is actually simpler than I thought. Using the help of external create Bevy CS tile map, I can generate a simple isometric tile map as the terrain. Then, to show building placement preview, I get the cursor coordinate in the world, which is not straightforward as I thought, and then to the coordinate of the tile in the tile map, and have separate tile map update the tiles that currently hovered by the cursor. I then add a simple UI placeholder to show build menu, and then use some free asset to make it a little bit better link in the description. So far, I have a great experience building games with Bevy. The entity component system is actually fun to code with. The game engine, which is very slim because it's very bare bone, make it very easy to learn. And yeah, I, I do love Rust as a programming language. But after building with Bevy, I feel that I won't be able to finish this game with Bevy. As a newer engine, Bevy lacks a lot of feature that I thought was straightforward and I believe it's very straightforward in other game engine, but it's not a built-in in Bevy. You need to implement it yourself. For example, like the cursor coordinate problem, also the click detection on sprite image, and even a simple toggle button group that I use in the build menu. It took me a while to handle all the cases, like when I click the button, I need to disable a other button, and when I hover the button, I need to make the color changes. It needs to be implemented myself instead, like already built in in other game engine. This doesn't mean Spavy is a bad game engine. It just shows how mature other game engine are, and right now the game idea grows big enough in me that I just want to make the game happen instead fiddling around with the technology. So I choose to use other game engine, but Bevy itself is still in active development with cool community that support it. So I will surely revisit it later in the future. So I switched to other game engine that I have some experience with, which is Godot. I know it is quite capable to build what I want about my game. It's open source, create node-based system and lots of community support. So I feel confident about Godot and start rebuilding my prototype. The basic mechanic is still the same, so it's just a matter of translating Rust into GDScript and the entity component system into Godot node system. 
It took me a while, but now I rebuilt it in Godot, got the menu working, placement preview, and placing building in valid location. And I even experimented with pop-ups for showing building information and context menu, like connecting logistic between the building. So it won't be just like that in the future, as it will involve transport like trucks and trains. So that's all I have for today. It's not much, but now with this prototype, I feel confident to continue the project and hopefully finish the game someday. I will try to document the progress in this devlog series, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested to follow along. Thank you and see you in the next devlog.